What's up you guys it's deep over here and today I'm going to show you four simple and different methods on how to remove halos from a cutout in Photoshop also if you want to learn how to do such cool things using Photoshop then smash that subscribe button if you haven't already so without wasting any time let's get started so this is the model image which I'll be using throughout the video now if you want to follow along then the download link for this image is in the description below. So the first step over here we need to do is separate out the background and the model so for that select magic wand tool. Now magic wand tool will work over here since we have a plain background but if your image does not contain a plain background then you can select it using quick selection tool as well. So now select magic wand tool. And then using magic wand tool click on the background as follows which will give you the selection of all the background in the image. After that press ctrl or command for mac plus shift plus i to invert the selection. So now as you can see now we have inverted the selection and now we have the selection of the model in the image. After that click on add layer mask icon to only keep the image which is inside of the selection and remove rest of the image. So now by looking out at this cutout it looks to be perfect but it is not. Let me just show you what I am talking about by placing a dark background. So for that click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select option solid color. After that select the background as black and then click on ok. Now let's drag this solid color layer below our model layer. So now as you can see once we place a dark background for this cutout there is one white halos near the cutout which is not looking good and not allowing a model image to blend in properly with the background. Let me just zoom in and show it to you. So now as you can see this is the halos which I was talking about now let's try to remove it. So for that press ctrl plus j to create a duplicate of this solid color fill layer. After that drag that layer at the top. And then make the model image layer active by clicking on it. And then create a duplicate of that layer as well by pressing ctrl plus j. And then drag that layer to top as well. After that make the original model image layer active by clicking on it. And then press ctrl and click on the solid color fill layer which will give you the selection of the solid color fill layer as well as keep the selection of the model image layer. After that press ctrl plus e to merge the two layers into a single layer. After that let's rename that layer as initial. So now this layer will be our before so let's hide it by clicking on this eye icon. Now let's make the model image layer active by clicking on it. And then let's rename that layer as backup. After that let's create a duplicate of this layer by pressing ctrl plus j. And then hide the backup layer by clicking on the eye icon. Now after that we will be performing everything on this duplicate image layer and not on the original image layer. Now let me just zoom out. Now after that let's start with the first method in order to remove halos. So for that make the mask of this model image layer active by clicking on it. So as you can see as you make it active the square box will be over here. So currently as you can see we have a sharp edge. Let me just zoom in and show it to you. So as you can see these edges are looking a bit sharp and we need to soften it. So now in order to soften this edge go to filter and then blur and then select option gaussian blur. After that set the radius as 1 pixels. Now to show you the before and after of this Gaussian blur filter clicking on this preview checkbox. So now this is the before and after applying the Gaussian blur filter. This is the after. So as you can see the edges are now looking smooth after that click on ok. Now once you have smoothened out the edges after that go to image and then adjustments and then select option levels. So now as you can see the channel over here is selected as backup copy mask so we are applying this levels filter on the mask and not on the image itself. So now after that we need to drag the shadow slider more towards right. As you drag the shadow slider towards right you can see that the white line starts to disappear. So as you can see the more you drag it towards right the halos is getting smaller and smaller. Now let me just show you the working of this levels over here so for that we need to bring up the mask so for that click on cancel for now and then press alt or options on mac and then click on this mask icon which will bring up the mask over here. Now let me just zoom into the image more. So now as you can see the pixels near the edge have a shade of grey and they are not completely black because of which halos is showing up. Now let me just again go to image and bring up the levels. So now when we drag the shadow slider towards right we are converting those grey pixels into a black one. So 
So as you can see the more I drag it towards right more grey pixels will be converted to completely black and removing halos for us. So now I think you have understood this thing so let me just click on this cancel and bring up back the image. Now in order to bring the image back all you need to do is press alt or options on mac and then again click on this mask icon which will bring back the image. Now let's do that level things one more time since we had hit on cancel it did not apply the effect over here. So for that again go to image and then adjustments and then select option levels and then again drag the shadow slider more towards right. You can stop when you feel that most of the halos have been disappeared. So as you can see for this value of the shadow the halos have been completely disappeared and we have just some left near the beard over here and near the hair over here as well. So now click on ok to apply this levels effect. Now in order to remove that slight halo near the right beard we need to apply the levels one more time but this time instead of applying it to the whole image we will be applying it only to the portion of this beard and the hair over here. So for that select lasso tool and then using lasso tool make a selection where slight halo is visible. So now once you have that selection again go to image and then adjustments and then select option levels. So now whatever values you apply to the levels it will be only applied to this portion of the selection. So now drag the shadow slider more towards right and then remove that slight halo. So now as you can see the halo is now completely gone after that click on ok. Now press ctrl plus D to deselect the selection. Now let me just show you the before and after of this effect. So now this was the before and this is the after. Looks so smooth and nice right? So now this was one of the methods in order to remove halos. Now let's start with another method. So for that clicking on this eye icon in order to hide it. And now let me just rename that layer in order to avoid confusion. After that make the backup group layer active by clicking on it. And then create a duplicate of that layer by pressing ctrl plus j. And then drag that layer at the top and unhide it by clicking on the eye icon. Now for this method as well the first step we need to do is make the mask of the image layer active by clicking on it. Now once the mask of the layer is active after that go to filter and then other and then select option minimum. After that set the radius as 1 and let me just show you the before and after of this filter. So now as you can see this was the before and then this is the after. So now as you can see with just one filter you have completely removed the halos over here after that click on ok. So now this was the second method in order to remove the halos let me just hide it by clicking on the eye icon and rename that layer in order to avoid confusion. After that again make the backup layer active by clicking on it and then create a duplicate of it by pressing ctrl plus j and then bring that layer at the top. After that unhide that layer by clicking on the eye icon. And then let's start with a third method. So for this method as well you need to keep the mask of the layer active by clicking on it. Now this method is also quite simple. All you need to do is press ctrl and click on the icon of the mask which will give you the selection of the mask layer. So now once you have your selection after that go to select and then modify and then select option contract. After that contract it by 1 pixels and then click on ok. So now your selection has been contracted by 1 pixels. After that press ctrl or command on mac plus shift plus i to invert the selection. So now as you can see now we have inverted the selection. After that we need to set the foreground and the background color as black and white. So for that press d key of your keyboard which will set the foreground and background color as black and white. So now as you can see currently the foreground color is white and the background color is black. Now we need to invert this thing that is we need to bring the foreground color to black and the background color to white. Now in order to swap the swatches all you need to do is press the X key of your keyboard which will swap it. After that press alt or options key on the mac and then press the backspace key of your keyboard which will fill the selection of the mask with that of the black layer. After that press ctrl plus D to deselect the selection. So now as you can see halos have now almost disappeared but there is some still left near the right beard over here. Now in order to remove that thing again repeat the same steps. Get the selection. Contract the selection by 1 pixels. And then click on ok. 
After that press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus Shift plus I to invert the selection. Now we only need to fill the right beard portion of the mask with that of the black color in order to remove hello from there as well. Now in order to only remove that portion select brush tool and then select brush as soft round. After that set the opacity as 100% and flow as 100% as well and then keeping the foreground color as black hover over that portion using the brush tool. After that press Ctrl plus D to deselect the selection. So as you can see the halo is no more visible and it is completely gone. So now this was the third method in order to remove those halos. Now let me just hide that layer by clicking on the icon and then rename that layer. After that again make the backup layer active by clicking on it and then create a duplicate of it by pressing Ctrl plus J and then drag it to the top and then unhide it. Now let's start with a fourth method. So for this method as well we need to keep the mask of the image layer active by clicking on it. And then after that select smudge tool. And then set the strength of the smudge tool as 50%. And then increase the size of the brush to this much. You can increase and decrease the size of the brush using the square bracket keys of your keyboard. And then using the brush tool left click on your mouse and then drag it little inside. You need to drag it to the point where you can see that the halos is no more visible. Now do the same thing for this portion and then this portion. So like this way you need to remove it from all the parts. So now as you can see the halos is no more visible. Let me just show you the before and after of this effect. So now this is the before and this is the after. So that's it guys, this were the 4 methods on how to remove halos from a cutout in photoshop. Hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. Now if you guys like this video then hit the like button. Also share it to the ones who might be interested in such videos. And subscribe to the channel for more videos in photoshop. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.